Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I don't even really know what this channel is anymore. If you guys are subscribers, the last time I posted a video with me actually talking in it, I think it was like five or six years ago. So, yeah, it's definitely been a minute. Um, but I'm mainly just going to be posting tool stuff now and car videos, just all stuff that I record myself or edit myself or whatever, and all the content is mine. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing from now on. But today, what we have is a unboxing from KC Tool. It's two Knipex products. I just recently, in the past couple months, have started getting into Knipex stuff. Um, I do HVAC by trade and I've mainly just used a combination of Klein and Milwaukee tools before, but now I've just started gravitating more towards the German stuff. So today what we're going to do is unbox two tools. It's going to be the 10 inch pliers wrench as well as a, uh, what is it? The little flush cutters, the five inch flush cutters. So. This is my first package in from KC Tool. It also includes a sticker pack. Um, I already opened it up just to check to make sure everything was inside. Um, but other than that, I haven't opened any of the boxes and actually looked at any of the tools. So it's going to be all brand new to me. So let's get right into it. And if you see in the background, I have the uh, Tech Back MC, the Blackout Edition that's fully kitted out as well um i'm gonna be making a video on that actually right after this so if you want go check that out so right off the bat we got our sticker pack right here so i think there's 10 different stickers in here right now I'm not even going to try to pronounce all these because I'm not sure if I pronounce them correctly. And I know somebody's always going to say something. Even if you pronounce it correctly, somebody's got a different way of saying that. So I'm not even going to really fucking try. And now that we're like, what is it, a minute into the video, now I can actually swear without getting demonetized. It's kind of dumb. Back when I first started doing YouTube, it was back in the golden ages i know i was i was like 13 when i was doing it but still it was way way better back then here i'll say this one everybody says this wrong i don't care it's knipex that's why they literally came out with the shirt pronouncing it it shows you the pronunciation on the shirt knipex it's not it's not that hard of a concept to grasp i don't know why anybody just says Nipex or whatever. I mean, if you're from the UK, I know you're still saying it wrong. I should be giving you shit too, but I mean, it's, I don't know. I fucking love when people say Nipex from the UK. I don't know. It's just funny for me. Um, yeah. KC Tool, I can pronounce that one. But yeah, you got a decent amount of stickers in there. I'll jump right into the tools though. I'm spending too much time on this shit right here. Sorry. It's been a fucking while since I've done this. What do we got here? The seasonal KC Tool. Nice. I'm grabbing these. I don't know if these are the giant ones. I don't I don't want the giant ones. I mean, it'd be good to have a pair of big ass ones to be honest. But then again, I just use my sawzall or something else from cutting big pipe like that, but yeah, I want these the uh the Tubix cutters. They just slide right up. You don't have to sit there and spin it the whole way until you meet your copper or whatever you're cutting with it. So Ooh, right here, yeah. Wow, these things are heavy. My buddy has these. He's got the, uh, what is it? Just the normal ones with the plastic grip. These are the multi-grip with the chrome finish. Wow, these are nice. 
Now, I have another pair of Knipex pliers, or two pairs actually, but uh, one pair of pliers wrench, one of the one of the Cobra. I have one of the Cobras and one pliers wrench. The pliers wrench I have though is just the normal ones, the normal normal finish with the normal grips and the seven inch. These are the 10 inch, like I said, with the uh, multi-grip or comfort grip, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let's get a little close up on that right there. Knipex. These are the 250s, if you'd like to call them that. 250 millimeters. So right here, two inch jaw on the 10 inch pliers. At the 12 inch, I think does two and a half, if I'm correct. You can tell me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I do install, by the way, not service. So these are going to be used for uh, torquing down flare nuts mainly as well as various uh, various other things but my favorite thing about these is definitely the flat jaw and just how easy it is to adjust them you don't even have to get it exactly to the size of your fastener you can just get it generally in within a quarter inch or a half inch of it almost probably three eighths of an inch to uh a quarter inch of your fastener size and just quickly adjust to it and then you have this bit of play in here so any point that you meet your fastener you can apply a torque on this top arm here and just use it like a standard wrench so as long as it's seated your fastener is seated in here and this bottom lever or not lever but bottom handle is up you don't have to be applying force squeezing the hell out of it right but you at least have to have it up and then you just drive down on the top like a standard wrench so these are pretty much just a plier and a wrench combined that's why they call them the pliers wrench if you're not familiar with knipex products or these uh pliers in specific but yeah overall these have a really good feel to them right out of the box the handles are really, really nice. These are my first pair of the Comfort Grips. And yeah, I'm definitely happy with these. There's, there's not very much to say because just Knipex is already, already such an established brand in my mind. There's nothing you can really compete with. There's, I mean, a couple other German brands that can compete with them. But other than that, there's probably big three fish swimming in the pond. And it's Knipex. Vera and Viha. So these are definitely going to get some good use soon. And I'll probably bring in a, a review a couple months down the line. But yeah, definitely happy with these. So next we'll move on to the flush cuts. So I've had multiple pairs of flush cuts in the past. And the Klein ones were my first. Those were horrible. Do not ever buy those they're junk next were the milwaukee ones they're pretty damn good i've never really had a problem with them but these are the insulated ones that's the difference i wanted a pair of insulated ones and um so they're just a little beefier of a flush cut and these definitely meet that criteria so we're gonna check these out if i can get them out of the fucking box here we go so if you're using zip ties on anything, I don't give a damn what you do, bro. You could be a plumber, you could be a fucking electrician, HVAC, I don't give a damn. If you're using zip ties on fucking anything, bro, and you're cutting them with dykes, you're going to hell. I'm just, fair warning, bro, you're going to hell. But, um, yeah, you should be using a pair of these, and then I don't know why you're not, because there's a lot of really cheap ones you can go buy your dykes or your fucking linemen's or linesmen or whatever you want to call them neither of those are going to give you an actual flush cut you might as well just leave the damn zip tie fully hanging out because you're not making it any safer on anybody the reason why people use dykes is to make it so the next guy doesn't get hurt by a zip tie hanging off that cuts them but the thing is it just makes it sharper like why i don't get the point like no matter what dice you use you're not getting an actual flush cut on them but uh with flush cuts you will now these are made by knipex as well 
these are the 125s which i'm pretty sure is the five and a half inch um overall they're just you can you can just tell by looking at them in the way that they just bounce back like that like look at that that's a good quality tool the double spring not double spring i'm sorry but the way that the spring connects to both sides like that instead of just having a little spring in the middle you can tell that that's going to be something that's long lasting and if it does fail with it being fully exposed like that and so simple it's something you could easily fix the grips feel really really nice i have some other uh insulated stuff from knipex i just don't have the comfort grips these feel really nice they're a little different than the other insulated grips that i've felt i don't know they're just a little more rubbery the other ones are kind of a harder plastic these are a hard plastic too as well but they have a little bit more of that kind of rubbery texture to them um i can actually just give you probably a, a tiny little example because normally with flush cuts right if you get down to the base around here they don't cut shit you got to use the tips of them to actually cut things so here we'll test it out real quick sorry i i literally have just gotten out the job too my hands are fucking gross right now i don't give a damn though and i got a pretty bad refrigeration burn going on right there so yeah sorry about that but we're gonna get, do a little test here so got them all the way down at the flush cuts right all the way down at the bottom now let's see how well they can cut Ooh. So, they already, yeah, they got it snagged right there. I have to kind of rip it off. I was kind of hoping they would go right through on the first one, I'm not going to lie. Because sometimes you just, you're trying to go by quick and you're trying to cut them, you know what I mean? You're not trying to sit there for forever and try to wiggle them on and get it right on the zip tie. You're just breezing by, cutting them off, right? So, yeah, same. Same time, same exact thing. Have to pull it off. Huh. Now let's just cut with the end of them. How you normally would. So, right at the end, right? There we go, yeah. That's very nice. I, I like that. But I'm kind of, kind of disappointed in the way that they cut deep onto the jaw i mean they made a good cut that time but for some reason on like on these corners it just it just couldn't get through it but yeah overall they feel better than anything i've ever used and i've heard really good things about them so i'm not just gonna go off that little test there i definitely definitely like these there's no doubt in my mind at all that i'm gonna fall in love with these things you can just feel that they're a really good quality, like I said. So yeah, in my mind, these are definitely a solid nine out of 10, right out of the box. I don't, I haven't used them yet really, so I can't give you a really good number on that, but right out of the box, they feel like a nine out of 10. So happy with these. The pliers wrench as well. I'm gonna have to give this a 10 right out of the box. It's just, such a good tool i can already tell you it's so smooth giant giant jaw on it it's just there's no beating knipex pliers wrenches or pretty much any other wrenches with this push button style there's nothing that compares nothing's as buttery smooth you can't get the same bite on your fastener i don't know it's just something about them but yeah that's my little unboxing first video back and it was kind of just me fucking rambling the whole time but i just wanted to do this whole thing with no cuts and just kind of do a raw video of just my actual reaction to these things and not be fake and phony just be fucking genuine so yeah overall happy with everything thank you guys for tuning in um if you guys want to check out the video that i'm about to post on this blackout right here 
there's a shit ton of stuff in here i have all electrical on the back and then the front is just for general hand tools all for hvac installation and pretty much everything else um there's a ton of stuff in there so if you want like i said check that out other than that you guys have a good one peace